get uh, music gets louder, night gets longer. Water gets warmer and drinks gets colder. Life gets better when there is summer. Toastmasters of the day, my dear fellow members and guests, happy summer to everyone. We are all we all are witnessing a high temperature rise now uh, nowadays. 39 becomes 40, 40 becomes 41, 41 becomes 42, and so on. Nowadays, there is excessive heat surrounding us, and that's why people would like to go to nearest hill stations. People would also prefer to go any nearest beach or any water parks to do some water activities. But there are also people who stay at home only, and they spend their time to cultivate their reading, uh, reading activity. Instead, many people are there who complete the many good novels, many books during this period. And when we are talking about summer vacation, how can we forget about the most happiest creature on the earth during this period? Yes, children are also one of them who plan for the summer vacation. They join dance classes to dance like Mithunda. They join swimming classes, they join karate classes to fight like Brucey. They join cooking classes to explore some cooking activities and so on. While all this we are planning for summer as a human being, there is something going on which we are not aware about it in the summer. And if we are aware about it, we are not bothered about it. That we need to consider. Earthquake, floods, Typhoon, hurricanes can be dangerous, but more number of people die because of heat stroke in summer. Data says that more than 1,000 people die across India in a year due to heat stroke. And this number is increasing year on year. Heat stroke, also known as sun stroke, is a severe heat illness defined as hyperthermia when our body temperature increases to 40.6 degrees Celsius and above because of environmental heat exposure with a lack of thermoregulation. If I say in layman language, our body temperature, normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. And we, human, are exposed to excessive heat. Our body, temp our body is not capable to maintain the body temperature and we suffer from the heat stroke. Statistically speaking, People over age 65 are the most likely one to suffer from this. But it affects the people of all ages, including me, active and young healthy people like you. But if you are having any health related problems, or let's say any risk factor like cardiovascular or respiratory problems, then you are more prone to heat stroke because your exposure to the extreme heat for a prolonged working day may lead to you heat stroke. Our body shows some clues, signs and symptoms for it are lack of sweating, nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, weakness, and so on. I always believe that prevent is, prevention is better than cure. So we are have some we are having certain ways which we, within we, using which we can maintain the core body temperature with limits and beat the heat. Here are those seven ways. First one, allow yourself to become acclimatized in a hot weather condition. Take your time to used to it. Our body requires two weeks of time to get used to any warmer condition or warmer temperature. Second, drink small amount of water more frequently than usual. In other words, if I say, drink them on a schedule rather than just you become thirsty. By the time you become thirsty, you might have lost enough amount of water from your body. Third, eat smaller meals before doing any activity. That will help you to eat smaller meals more frequently. Fourth, avoid alcohol or large sugar content. Both are having dehydrating effects. Fifth, if you are working directly in the sun, doing a rigorous and sustained activity, physical activity, then take small breaks more often. Sixth, cool your skin frequently. Cool off yourself in front of the fan. That will help you 
to cool down your body. Seven, try to avoid as much as uh, that, try to avoid the exposure to the sun as much as direct sun, direct exposure to the sun as much as possible. Whenever you are going outside, wear long sleeve clothes, use hat or umbrella, or apply the sunscreen lotion. Of course, using these seven ba uh, seven ways of uh, seven ways, we can prevent the heat. But we should not forget about the importance of good diet in the summer. We should consume more and more fruits which are having the high water content. Fruits like uh, watermelon, grapes, oranges are full of water content. And consuming those fruits, we can we can uh, maintain our body water content. Water content. We have drinks like uh, coconut water, lime water, or chas, buttermilk. Those are having very cooling properties. In fact, yesterday or day after yesterday only, I came to know that day, day before yesterday, I came to know that uh, there is an increase in Baroda Dairy's chas sales by 15,000 liter within 12 days. We should go also for salads with green vegetable, green leaves like spinach. It will help us and reduce the sensitivity the sensitivity of the body towards ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. Last but not the least, onions. We should consume <coughs> more onions. It will allow us allow our body to remain cool and calm during the summer days. Remember, my friends, don't let yourself get beat by the heat. Instead, use these preventive ways, follow proper diet, and beat the heat. Over to you, Dosmar. <laughs>